how to run Snapchat ads step-by-step. -step. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'll show you how you can sign up to create Snapchat ads, why they're beneficial, and whether or not they're going to be a good marketing strategy for your brand. Now Snapchat is amazing, especially if you're trying to reach a younger audience. You guys can see they emphasize this even within their own website. So it reaches 90% of the 13 to 24 year old population and 75% of the 13 to 34 population. So you guys can see that Snapchat advertisements, especially for younger generations, are going to be amazing. You can increase your sales and you can also create more brand awareness, find more leads and provide a authentic way for people to come across your product because we all see meta ads and meta ads can be really redundant at this point. Whenever someone is browsing Facebook, there is a plethora of ads that are super diverse. So that makes them uninteresting. But with Snapchat, you can be really targeted with the people that you're advertising to and you can actually get the audience that would be interested in your products. So let's get started. Simply head on over to forbusiness.snapchat.com. Once you do that, click on create an ad. Now this will lead you to the Snapchat ads manager. From here, you can sign up for Snapchat business. First, you're going to enter a business name, then you are going to provide your email address, and then you are going to create a suitable password. After that, choose the month that you were born in. We're just going to do that and then click on next. Once you do that, you are going to create your profile. So this is going to be Lily's. And once we do that, we have our website, which is optional. I might want to connect my website. So I'm just going to open that up over here. I think I'm going to use my other site for this. So I'm just going to open up my Shopify store because I want to use that as the website link. So I'm just going to copy the link from here and go back and paste it. I'm not going to import any of my brand assets. I'm just going to click on create account. So this username is already taken. Okay, Lily shopping one. And then I'll click on create account over here. And once I've done that, we can proceed to the Snapchat ad manager. So right now it is creating my account. I can edit my bio information. And then you're going to provide your business details. So the country that you are operational in as well as the currency. And then you are also going to check the box if you would like to be informed by email. So over here, you're just going to put in your business details and I'm going to, I'm not, I don't want to add other products. Like I don't want to be displayed other products. So I'm going to skip that option. And once we do that, this will create our Snapchat ad manager account. So from here, you have two options when you're creating ads. If you would like to create an instant ad and if you want to create a full-fledged ad campaign with analytics and much more details. Now, an instant ad is a single ad and you can create that in less than five minutes. You can add creative, define your audience, and then publish. Additionally, you also have advanced creative where you can take full control over your ads, create multiple ad sets, create you know, full-fledged campaigns. Now for beginners, obviously when you're starting out, you will opt for instant ads, but I have seen that you get better results with advanced create. It's definitely going to be more time consuming. It's going to take in more effort, but it's going to render the most results. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go with a instant ad. And after that, you have your advertising goal. So if you want to increase your brand on Snapchat, if you want calls or text, app installs, app visits, or most popularly website visits. I want website visits because I want to advertise, you know, I want people to come to my website and purchase my products. So once I've done that, I'll click on next. And from here, you can get started with designing your ad. So you can click on upload photo or video. And if you don't have some good ad creative, you can also use Canva. If you go into Canva, you can just search for Snapchat. And once you search for Snapchat, you will see there are Snapchat ad statics that are available. So I will take something that is relatable to my products. I want to sell makeup products. So I want something that is, you know, makeup oriented. I think this looks pretty good. So I'll click on customize templates over here. 
And you want to include a frame usually with Snapchat ads because Snapchat has a lot of stuff on top, bottoms, and it has a gradient over there as well. So for that purpose, having a background or somewhat of a outline for the main content for your main ad creative is going to serve you well. I'm going to go for a black and cream theme and I'm going to delete this image. Then I'm going to go ahead and go into uploads on the left. And I have uploaded one of my own images for my brand. Now to make this a appropriate size, I'm going to search for frame and I'm going to search for a rectangular frame like this. And I'm just going to ensure that it fits properly. So once we have this set up, I'm just going to expand it like so. Once everything is ready, I'm going to click on there and send this to the back. And I don't want to send it too much to the back. I'll have to click on there. Click on show all layers and I'm just going to bring this to the front slightly. I just want it to be behind, you know, all this stuff. And once I've done that, I'm just going to hold the image and place it on this frame. And now I can, you know, move these icons around. I can add my own brand info, such as Lily's, buy now, advertise a sale, advertise a product. You can click on share, download, and download your ad creative from here. So just click on download to download your ad creative. And now you can use this on Snapchat ads. And it really takes less than a minute to get started. So from here, you have your public profile. You're going to add your brand name and then your headline, which is going to be the best no makeup like this. And the call to action is going to be buy now or I want it to be order now. And then we have our media, we have post to public profile, then you have your template. You have several different types of templates that you can use. And I want to use the standard one because it just is most effective. Once you've done that, click on next and you can proceed with your ad location. So you're going to confirm your business address, your budget and duration, the demographics you are targeting and your location. On the right, you have delivery estimates and your audience overview as well. And once completed, you can click on publish on the bottom right to publish your Snapchat ad. Now, I personally think that if you're looking to expand your brand, Snapchat ads are the way to go, especially when you're looking for people with a good buying power that are not going to feel like you're plastering their your brand onto their feeds because Snapchat feeds are a lot less advertised. You don't see a lot of advertisements of the same thing over and over and over again on Snapchat. And that makes it organic. That makes it feel organic. So I definitely do think that Snapchat ads are especially great if your products are targeted towards that uh, niche audience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.